Hello cave dwellers, today we're tackling a menace that affects all of us I think as collectors, yellowing plastics. Years of UV light combined with anti-flammable chemicals impregnated in the plastics react to make the plastics turn this horrible tobacco yellow colour over time. Add to that years of dirt and grime on top, 34 years worth in this case, and your old hardware can look a shadow of its former glory. So today I'm tackling it head on, and here are my weapons. First up, bog standard washing up liquid. This one's lemon, any flavour will do. Baking powder, for fluffy muffins apparently. Any baking powder will do. And finally, Be Blonde, maximum cream peroxide. The UK's number one blonding brand. Or something similar will do. The key really is to find a cream based product so that it's easy to apply. And how will we put these products to use? Well in this example I'm restoring a TRS-80 Model 100. That's largely irrelevant. The method can be applied to any plastics in the same state, whether it be an external disk drive, a radio, an old television. It begins by separating the electronic components inside from the case. We want to make sure all of those components are tucked away safely and we're only working with the plastics. Once we're down to the plastic, we'll start with the first step, which is just to give it a good wash with the washing up liquid. Taking your time to work around the plastics and lifting any surface dirt. Don't worry too much about more stubborn stains or for example there are pen and pencil marks on this case because we'll get to them in the next step. This particular computer was found in a rubbish bin. Despite the cosmetic condition it's in perfect working order and it spent most of its life in a dust free lab environment so the insides are actually in really good condition. It's just the exterior which needs to be cleaned up to match the insides. With the plastic wiped down, the next step then is to move on to the baking powder. We're using the baking powder as a very mild abrasive, working it onto the case with the cloth here, and using that abrasive property to lift a fine, fine layer of plastic off the top and any dirt with it, including the pencil marks that were on this case, and some other more stubborn black marks. Be especially careful around any decals like the print, pause and break buttons here as I imagine it would be very difficult to source replacement decals. This particularly stubborn mark in the corner came up nicely with the baking powder also. On each step, make sure you cover every single part of the case. As tedious as it may seem, the last thing you want is one yellow patch left at the end of it. So take your time. With the baking powder finished, you'll want to let your plastics dry naturally. You may want to use this time to work on any other parts you want to refurbish, for example, I'm using a brush to clean out the keyboard here of years of lunches, fingernails and who knows what else we'll find under there. On to stage three then. I've laid out some cling film on my table here, placed the plastic on top of it and then carefully put the peroxide cream onto the plastics. Now remember, this will bleach anything that it touches so try not to get it on your clothes, your hands or your beard. That could be particularly embarrassing. A nice even spread is key, dab it into any nooks and crannies and then also brush it to get even coverage. We don't want the cream to dry out during this process, so make sure there's a good wad of cream on there. When you're happy that you've applied that, the next step is to wrap it up in the cling film and just seal it up nice and tight to make sure none spills out. Also try to keep the coverage uh, of the cling film fairly even because you want an even distribution of UV light to get through it. With it all sealed up, it's time for me to do something very rare, which is to leave the retro man cave and go outside into the sunlight, because sunlight is the next key ingredient for this process. I've placed our wrapped up TRS-80 in a nice sunny spot here in the garden, deep in the shires of Britain. And here's where it will remain for several hours. In this case, I left it out for three hours, turning it occasionally and just massaging the peroxide cream around the plastics to make sure it hadn't dried out and there was even coverage. There is a danger if you leave it out for too long that you'll end up with the blooming effect on the plastics. So be conservative in your estimates. The best thing to do is to just check regularly because you'll see the process in action. Aside from that note of caution, take a moment to enjoy the sunshine. I recommend wine as part of the process. And you'll also notice from the follicle challenge that I face that purchasing blonde hair dye was no small task for me. 
After three hours I unwrapped it and wiped it down with some clean cold water and you can immediately see the difference here, even under the slightly yellowed hue of my non-studio lights. It's an incredible transformation and the machine bears no resemblance to the look it had three hours ago. I've repeated the process on the keyboard, just gently dabbing some onto the white areas of the keyboard and repeating the process for an hour and a half before putting it together here. A fine addition to the collection, I think you'll agree. But here are some before and after pictures. A now crisp Radio Shack TRS-80 logo, previously covered in grime with pen and pencil marks and that tobacco yellow plastic. Another example here, highlighting just how yellow it was before. And one more side-by-side -side comparison of it all put back together. So this was a very introductory guide on how to restore the plastics of your old computers. I would encourage you to read up on further considerations. For example, lacquering is an option to stop the oxygen from getting to it again and preventing that yellowing process from starting again. But for now, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's been useful for you. If it has, why not take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel and come back soon. Take care cave dwellers. Bye bye.